Before we get into today's official business, we would first like to address our cousins to the southwest, their majesties of Antir, on a small matter of cartography. We have seen maps drawn by Antir which contain lands lawfully held by Avakel. This aggression will not stand, man. Therefore, we have sent an expeditionary force to the area, and seeing no other forces, went a little further into the actual borders of Tyr Reed to establish a fortress. We came over the mountains and from the waters unopposed, welcomed by the local peasantry to claim runes of Frozen Mountain. Ivar does not approve of your lackadaisical cartography. Therefore, we've extended our reach into Antir to assist our cataract-clouded eyes of our dotting father kingdom. We hope this helps you see the line between our two kingdoms a little more clearly. Our words were read before the courts of Frozen Mountain, and to further assist you, we are relieving you of the burden of taxing these lands, and have tasked the Seneschal of Ares Guard with the administration of the region. Lord James? I, the Seneschal of Ares Guard, approve this message. <laughs> King Christian, you have said we never call or write. Please consider this message the call to our parent kingdom you've been requesting. If you object to this action, feel free to send someone over the mountains and do something about it. Now, we wish to open our court, but we do not know where our herald is. Renar, our champion of sword, will you find our herald and bring him hence? Your Majesty, it would be my honor to track down your herald and bring him to you. This is a task that you've entrusted to me as your champion of sword, and nothing could dissuade me from this task. <clears throat> After a slight personal matter. Okay, I guess that's going to take a while. Uh, Maeve, our bardic champion, would you please open court for us, please? As you wish, Your Majesties. Good people of Avacol, rise if you are able. Here opens the final court of the Royal Majesties, King Ivar the Black and Queen Asni Grimmelstadter. Their Majesties welcome into their court Royal Prince Vic and Royal Princess Aisha. Hi Avacol, we miss you. Thank you, Your Majesties, for inviting us into your court today. As we prepare for our August coronation, we would like Avacol to know that we will be doing a video address as your crowns in the coming days. We know that the populace have a lot of questions and concerns, and we will do our very best in the coming months to help guide Avakal and to answer those questions. So Avakal, thank you for your patience in these most interesting times. Uh, we look forward to when we can all meet again in person instead of through video. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, Your Majesties. I received a uh, note that uh, you needed to see me, and um, I'm always happy to obey Your Majesty's commands, and I will make my way uh, to you. I'm not entirely certain where I am right now, um, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be there on time. Don't worry. I have a call from the beginning of our reign, way back in November. Diversity, equity, and inclusion have played a central role in how we govern these lands. We've gone to great lengths to make sure that Avacol is a welcoming and safe place for all. To that end, we have written into law and asked our Seneschal, Duke Albrecht, to fill the position of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Officer for Avacol. For those interested in this noble pursuit, we encourage you to apply. Details can be found in the avant-garde. As much as we like to think of Avacol as a harmonious place, conflict does happen between our citizens. Fortunately, there are mechanisms in place to aid in resolving that conflict. We recognize that the landscape of conflict resolution may be a rocky one to navigate, and for that reason we have created the Office of Advocate. It will be that office's role to assist with any and all grievances and harassment processes. This can help our citizens understand the options available to them in times of trouble. Although the position is still being formed, Vic and Aisha have expressed their full support of this role, so you can expect more information from the Seneschal's office very soon. Have we found our Herald yet? And if so, can we have him call our Seneschal to court? If only I had a sextant or something. I do know exactly where I am, I swear, Your Majesty. I am on my way back to you. Uh, I do understand, though, that His Grace Duke Albrecht, the King of Seneschal, does have words for the populace. Uh, so, uh, Your Grace, if you wish to uh, 
Speak your words, I will be right there. Hi, I'm Gerald. Hope today is finding you well and in good spirits. Uh, I'm here today to read into their majesty's court some law changes. And it's about uh, the summary is gender neutralization a little bit that we could find. Some document repair and some updating. And here we go. Article 1, the law. Under 1E5, additional handbooks, we made a change from the Avocal bullying policy, defining what is and is not bullying behavior, and outlining procedures to address allegations of bullying in accordance with SD grievance and sanction policies, has been changed to Avocal bullying and harassment policy, defining what is and is not bullying behavior, and outlining procedures to address allegations of bullying in accordance with SDA grievance and sanctions policies. We have also added a point, point six. If strife arises between members of Avocal, an option exists to assist in the resolution process, the grievance procedure policy. It can be found in the Kingdom of Avocal website. Article two, the royalty. Under 2D, Responsibilities, we've added two points, notice 9, not 7. First one is, the Crown is responsible for the Crown email box, which they will maintain and respond to all incoming inquiries within a reasonable period of time. Also added is, the Crown is responsible for maintaining and updating the award recommendation database to ensure there is no duplication of awards given. We've also changed the point. Point A has been changed from the Crown must report all awards bestowed by them or in their names to the Sanguinarius Herald no later than two months after they leave the Kingdom of Thrones. This has been changed to the Crown must report all awards bestowed by them or in their names to the office of the Sanguinarius Herald no later than two weeks following the event. All awards given will be published in the following avant-garde. Article 4, Officers within the Kingdom. Under 4B, Officers of the Kingdom of Avicel, we have added two Deputy Officers to the Seneschalate. The DEI Officer and the Advocate Officer. Under Section 4D, Reporting, this has been changed from in the event a kingdom officer cannot be present for the curia, he slash she, she must have a representative attend the meeting and report in their stead. This has been changed to, in the event a kingdom officer cannot be present for the curia, they must have a representative attend the meeting and report in their stead. Next is section 4F, specific duties of officers of state added is point 10 provide resources and education to those members of the populace specific to dei initiatives in Avicel. this is for the dei deputy and point 11 provide resources and education to those members of the populace of Avicel who need to engage the kingdom mechanisms of conflict resolution this is for the advocate deputy 5c awards Honors and Orders of Avicel. 5C1, non-armiguous honors, honors that convey no precedence. Item 4 has been changed from the king's favor will be given by the king to those as he sees fit for service to the king. Changed to the king's favor will be given by the king to those as the king sees fit for service to the king. Item 5 has been changed from the Queen's favor will be given by the Queen to those who she sees fit for service to the Queen. Changed to the Queen's favor will be given by the Queen to those who the Queen sees fit for service to the Queen. And we found a glitch that we repaired in sections 5C5 orders that convey a grant of arms with high merit and section 5c6 orders that convey a patent of arms letters patent have been repaired and can be seen again 5c5 is about the order of a noble griffin that goes to former land of nobles and 5c6 is the description of the royal peers and peers of the society 
Also, though, within 5C5, we did make a change. Orders that convey a grant of arms of high merit has been changed from members of this society may bear the title of Baron or Baroness and or his or her excellency. Change two, members of this society may bear the title of Baron or Baroness and or his or her excellency or their excellency. Moving to Article 6, the Advocate Calendar, uh, 6B, Kingdom Event Rotation. We have removed point 2. AT, no longer, AT War no longer happens, so AT War will be stewarded by an individual as selected and approved by their Majesty's Abacal, their Majesty's on tier, and their Majesty's, or their Highness's tier 8. This individual will then become a deputy of the Seneschal for the duration of the planning and running of the event known as AT War. This point was removed. Under Article 9, Conduct, 9A, Conduct of Persons in Abacal. This item has been removed from law and placed in the policy. This follows the SEA governing documents organization better, and it should be easier to find when it's needed. We remove the grievance procedure. I will read it out. 9B, grievance procedure. Anyone having a personal dispute with any other person within the kingdom shall settle the matter using the following procedure. A, speak to the person in private and face to face. Most disputes can be resolved on this level. If the dispute is still unresolved, write a letter to the person, state what the problem is, what you will feel will fix the problem, and request that they respond to you within 10 to 14 days. Keep a copy of the letter, respond to each other until you reach a resolution. Number two, if the dispute remains unresolved, seek a neutral third party to act as mediator. The mediator will attempt to find a lawful compromise to the dispute, which is agreeable to both parties. Number three, if the dispute continues, write directly to the officer responsible for overseeing the area in question, asking them to help resolve the dispute. Ask for specific help and include copies of all correspondence about the problem. Work with that officer until a resolution is found. Repeat step three, moving up the organization and including everyone previously involved on your copy list. Follow your correspondent's advice as to whether anyone else at or below their level needs to be consulted. Eventually, we run out of levels. If the dispute continues, you will have gone through all the steps set forth above. You may appeal to the Crown. The Crown will find a resolution and a decision may be appealed only to the SCA Board of Directors. Number six, the grievance procedure is intended to address personal disputes between individuals and not disputes on official matters. For further guidance, please refer to the SEA Organizational Handbook. That was all removed. It is now in policy. The next point is added. If strife arises between members of Abacal, two options exist to assist in the resolution process. The grievance procedure and bullying and harassment policy. Both documents can be found on the Kingdom of Abacal website. Article 10, the University of Abacal, TUA. Change point two from the University of Abacal is overseen on behalf of the crowns by a Lord Lady Regent. The Regent is a kingdom officer. The Regent and all TUA chancellors are warranted by the crown. This has been changed to the University of Abacal is overseen on behalf of the crowns by a Regent. The Regent is a kingdom officer. The regent and all two chancellors are warranted by the crown. I, I think I'm moving more in the right direction here. I can't see any mountains. Uh, I can't really see much of anything around here. It's all very, uh, very flat, very open. Uh, sort of seems like the sort of place a great king would uh, have his castle. So uh, we're in the right direction, I think. Um, I understand you have uh, some uh, words of wisdom to bequeath upon your populace. The role of the crown has taken a significant shift this reign, with the focus being more on the administration of Avacol as opposed to heading to events and spending time with our populace for obvious reasons. Here at home, your crown has been working diligently, streamlining processes such as the award recommendation database, streamlining the crown email, and working on updating Abacol law. 
One of the major projects since May has been editing the bullying and harassment policy. We have heard from many of you about the changes that need to happen to this process. We've been listening. The new revised process is in its final stages and instead of rushing it to be completed during our reign, we have chosen to pass it on to our heirs to allow for the due diligence it requires to be reviewed by the experts in our kingdom. This reign, more than any other since Avacol has become a kingdom, there have been numerous investigations, conflict resolutions and mediations. We thank our kingdom senatorial team, including Master McLaren, who was interim until April, and His Grace Albrecht since then, for their diligence and time spent working on these files. In the spirit of open and transparent leadership, we would have the populace know of this conflict re resolution efforts. During our reign since November, Avacal Kingdom leadership has completed the following. Three formal investigations started at the local level, which were then escalated to the Crown for final decisions. Two informal conflict resolutions, which were resolved at the Kingdom Seneschal level. And two claims that were not investigated as the claimants chose not to move forward with their claim and both files are now closed. Outside of our preview was a file that was escalated to the BOD prior to our reign, which was ruled upon and closed in June. Now, depending on the severity, investigations can take anywhere from one to three months and at times up to six months to complete. Currently, there are no investigation files open. Those involved in the investigation process often find the time exhausting, emotional, and difficult. We hope the populace of Avacol find comfort in the diligence of your leadership team that has worked so hard in these claims on behalf of you all. Well, here we are, all gathered here together on the uh, shores of the ocean, enjoying a uh, beautiful sunset on, uh, on, on another great rain and of the dream. And in the dream, there are certain individuals who do make things a little more real and allow us to feel more like we exist in our current Middle Ages. Their Majesties would now like to acknowledge one such individual who has gone above and beyond in order to achieve true authenticity within the dream and in the studies of persona development. Your Majesty. We are all students of history, but there are those who walk among us who are more than that. The passion they display in the pursuit of authenticity is inspiring. Such a one is Remy the Burgundian. In the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, the Bulova, being a small ceremonial mace, was a trapping of power and authority. In these current Middle Ages in Avacal, however, we are going to let it stand in this case for the esteem and admiration the crown holds for one of our subjects and his dedication to persona excellence. The handle was turned by Gabriel the Lion of North Shield, and the head was handcrafted in Ukraine, and it was assembled by my own hands. Remy, we had hoped to give this to you in person and share vodka with you in celebration. We look forward to the day that this can happen. On this day, July 31st, Anno Societatis, 55, their Royal Majesties, Ivar and Asni, King and Queen of Abacal, do bestow upon their subject, Master Remy the Burgundian, a Sphinx and Cartouche. Go forth now and receive all the rights and privileges of your rank. Huzzah! Majesties and good people of Avacal. Um, I'm out here somewhere in Avacal. I found some rocks and trees, and trees and rocks, and rocks and trees and, and water, but that's about all I found out here in the bounteous plains somewhere in Avacal. Um, it's been a little bit of an odd time for uh, us in Avacal here. Uh, rather than getting together personally, people are using a vast web or a net to interconnect with one another and this has uh, led to some uh, tremendous word fame uh, for Avicalians uh, across the known world and I think we really should discuss that uh, speaking of discussions there is a nice tavern I think I'm going to sit in on uh, they said they will uh, have a way to find out where I'm going so catch you in a bit during this unique and challenging time, many of you have given of yourselves to spread the glory and talent of Abacal. Some, like Duchess Inga and Her Royal Highness Aisha, have done this by teaching online. Others, such as Lady Thisbe, Courtesan Beerus, and Master Benbow, and many more have been entertaining the masses in virtual bardic events. 
We've received lovely letters of thanks from royals across the known world because of the good works that you have done, and we thank you for that. As many of you know, the peers of Avaco have been presenting videos answering your questions that you have brought forward to them. Each order spent numerous hours online in group discussions, meeting in small groups to go over their responses, and then creating the final videos. We would like to personally thank Councillor Fergus, Maestrin Edelheid, Mistress Saab, and Master Tommaso for coordinating each order. Additional thanks to each panelist for taking the time to craft your response, partner with your order to review your ideas, garner new thoughts, and overall participate in this endeavor. We know it was difficult. We appreciate the time and effort you put into this exercise to create a deeper relationship with the people of Abaco. Lastly, we would like to thank those of you who have kept Abacal going in the background to allow us to continue to function as a kingdom while staying home. Lady Roya for managing our social media presence, Larship Shea for being so responsive as our kingdom web minister, and Skald and Maeve for Griffin Eye News. You keep us connected before, all, before those who are unable to attend events, and you are continuing to do so now that we are at home. Hello, uh, Your Majesties. So, um, I'm not exactly sure uh, where I ended up or how I got here. Uh, somewhere between Aries Garden and Windworm. Um, I think I took a left when I should have taken a right, but I am on my way uh, to you here. Um, but I understand uh, that uh, being uh, king is hard, as is being queen, and there are certain individuals that help uh, make the burden lighter uh, for you too, and uh, you wanted to say some uh, words and acknowledge some of the people uh, that have assisted you uh, throughout this reign. So, go ahead, Your Majesty. We have mentioned in the past how the Crown cannot do its job without help. For all of the assistance that we have received, we thank those of you who have given so generously of your time. But there are those whose help we could not have done without, and to these we bestow our throne's favour. Ladyship Gwen. You have been our head of retinue. You have lifted and carried and toted and organized and after COVID, you acted as porch elf so many times I can't even count. But more than that, you have acted as a stalwart and true and loyal friend. We were, you were someone we could go to in times of crisis and we will never ever be able to repay you. Thank you. Scald. Our reign simply wouldn't have been as fun without you. Your efforts have made our co courts so much fun, not just for the populace, but for us. You are truly amazing, and for that, we thank you. Ladyship Maeve, everywhere we went, there you were. Everywhere we looked, there you were helping out. And your work on Griffin I News along with Skeld has been so much fun. Thank you. His Grace Alby has been such an excellent partner for being willing to take the tough road as Kingdom Seneschal. We thank you for that and please accept our favour. Master McLaren for acting as Interim Seneschal from November to April. Thank you. Ladyship Astrid as our Captain of our Guard. Thank you for organizing, being there for us, doing heavy lifting for us and being a true friend. Lordship Rogan, for your wise counsel and moderate voice. Thank you. And finally, Master Rao, for listening and providing guidance to us. Your friendship will not be forgotten. Majesty, I uh, heard uh, tell that uh, you were looking for me and that you'd uh, sent your uh, heavy champion to find me. Uh, I had heard he got a little bit distracted though, so that's okay. Uh, I also understand there's a little bit of news of the known world that might be a little distressing and might mean I have to hurry, or maybe that I can just really take my time and uh, get into you. Uh, did you want to have uh, a little bit more words on that one? Many of you will have seen online that there has been a message from the SCA Board of Directors, placing a pause on all Kingdom level events until January 31st, 2021. This resolution came about as the majority of seated crowns signed a petition to request the BOD to hold off on the requirement of holding crown, coronet, and coronation level events until at least January 31st, 2021. This is to protect the populace of the known world. In our conversations about this initiative, we noted that Avakel is quite unique on this continent with the slower infection and transmission rate of the virus. As such, we may be able to congregate sooner than most. If the Crown and Seneschalit deem it safe, Abacal can apply for a variance to hold an event during this time period. 
Although we understand the sentiment of pausing these crown level activities may emotionally impact a number of our populace, know that we are still able to gather for meetings, for arts and science, practices, etc., if those activities can be held safely according to local health guidelines. And as we have stated before, if you are moving to an in-person gathering, please contact the Kingdom Central and the Crown to discuss. Where the f am I? I go! Go! Babe! I've been looking everywhere for you! Here is your stuff. Oh, you got this off the tavern keeper! Uh, your Majesty, the I will bring him loaded. straight to you. We'll be there as quickly yes, as possible. Right away. I believe you have some final words for your populace. Abkel, as we have said, we would have very much hoped to hold an in-person coronation for Vic and Aisha, but the likelihood of us getting together in person as a kingdom is slight until the new year. In discussion with His Royal Highness Vic and Her Royal Highness Aisha, we decided the timing of August 1st was appropriate to shift responsibility. In the days to come, you will see, for the first time in Abakal's history, a royal proclamation in which we transition the authority of the Crown and its responsibilities to our heirs. Their Royal Highnesses have been an excellent support to the Crown and have been wonderful to work with these last number of months, and we know Abakal is in strong and capable hands. Thank you, your Royal Highnesses, for your openness, your support and kindness during this trying time, and we wish you the very best in the months to come. Abakal, this clearly is not the reign we'd hoped for. Even such, we put everything we had into this reign for the betterment of the realm. We wish to personally thank the individuals who have sent words of support over the last eight months. Each and every note was appreciated and truly helped us during this time. As we close our final court, we leave you with thoughts of friendship, camaraderie, and simpler times sharing stories around a fire. We look forward to a time when we can all come together in fellowship and celebration. And until that time, be good to each other, Abacal. What? It's good. It's good. Good gentles all. Thank you for coming. Here now opens a court no, of I, I I did that already. We're closing the court. Oh, I missed everything. Everything. Here now closes the court of Black King Ivar and the Summer Queen Asni. Long live Ivar and Asni. Long live Ivar and Asni. Long live Prince Vic and Princess Aisha. Long, Long live Prince Vic and, Vic and Princess Aisha. Aisha. Long live Bjar and both Elder. Long live Bjorn Bothelder! Long live Roland Roxanne! Long live Roland Roxanne! Long live Jean Guyen! Long live Jean Guyen! Abacal! Together we conquer! The bar is open!